The guy that painted that portrait of you in Paris. That guy is Taya's brother. Yes, Tomas Delgado. I don't believe this. I've known him since I was a kid. Well, so much for my international man of mystery, huh? Merci pour le pain. J'ai besoin de ton aide. Il s'agit de Todd Manning. I saw Tomas all the time when I was a kid. Tomas was actually the first guy I ever saw paint. Really? Yeah, but he was talented at everything. You know, he plays the piano too. Yes, I heard. And he was an amazing forward. Not a bad midfielder. Basketball, soccer, the, the guy could do anything. But really, he was a musician. You know, when he disappeared, we... Really disappeared? No, je te dis, il a épousé ma soul. Oui, c'est urgent. Nous devons faire quelque chose. Yes, I know what this means. This isn't a great time. We'll talk later. I don't know where Tomas went. He said it was a tour, but uh, it went for a long time. His family stopped hearing from him except holidays. It broke Leon's heart. That's Tay's dad. Well, he put everything into his son. All his hopes, all his money went to his school. Wow. It must have been a lot for Tomas to have to carry around. I don't know how long he carried it. But hey, look, he's come around. Maybe he's here to make amends with Taya. Oh, I doubt that. I didn't even know Taya was here until I told him. And the last time I saw Tomas, he was heading to the airport to catch a plane. Well, I think he missed it. Todavía no puedo creerlo. Sí, hace mucho tiempo. So you know Christian, you remember him, huh? Uh, of course, as your mother. She's doing good, she's doing, she'll be here later. Are you gonna stick around? Yeah, what about that plane you were supposed to catch pair of? I missed it. How's Antonio? He's good, he's good, he's, he's got a daughter, Jamie. You know, I'm sure he'd love to hear from you. What are you up to? Yeah, a few things. No, that is so not true. He is a very, very talented artist, a beautiful painter. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Should have known when I caught you dipping into my paints. <laughs> You're not gonna go over. I sell some. I got a, I got a fellowship now teaching at LU. Well, maybe I'll come take a class, learn from a master. Huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> How long till the next flight to Paris? I don't know. I won't be on it. I'm staying here in Landview. Now that I know Taya's here in the Vegas, I can't take off. Well, Taya will be very happy that you're sticking around for her. Well, I hope so. Taya's not the only reason I'm staying. Thank you. Well, now that I'm sticking around for a while, maybe we'll see each other again. Maybe. And maybe we won't have to say goodbye to each other again for a while. That would be nice. Dile a tu madre que llamara esta noche. Sería buena sorpresa. Adiós. Bye. Well, gee, it looks like he is. Maybe making amends. <laughs> what? Look, I can see something's going on with you. What, what's something? I just want you to know you should be careful. Why would you say that, Christian? Because I'm your friend, and I've watched you get hurt a lot lately. And I've watched Tomas ditch everything and everybody in his life. Well, you make it sound like it's all so sinister. No, it's not that. It's just that... What? I, I always felt like there was more to the story. Qu'est-ce que vous avez trouvé pour moi ce matin? Yeah, I can't deal with this now. Jeez, how long did it take you to drive from the office? I was in the middle of something. So what did he do now? Jack. Jack didn't do anything. Uh, well, then what's the problem? Is he hurt or sick? No, or he's fine. Claire, then what am I doing here? Drag me all the way down here and there's no emergency? There's an emergency, all right, and it's you. You are the problem. This is the famous Roadies. Yes, home of the delicious Roadies burger. Are they open? It looks empty. They should be. Oh, someone's here. Yeah, John, he's he's the owner. His car was in the parking lot. He's 
Probably got his hands full in the back somewhere. Blair? You're not gonna go anywhere until you hear what I have to say. Well, I have a newspaper to run now. Yeah? Well, why don't you run it and leave your children alone? Oh, did Star come crying to you? You threatened those kids with a gun, Todd. Oh, well, it's just a calf gun. Of I don't stuff. care what it was. You scared them to death. Good. I've already got a grandchild. I don't need another one. I mean, not right now. Well, you better keep your cap gun to yourself. Otherwise, you're going to drive your other daughter down that same road. Maybe we should go someplace. No! I want my delicious Rody's burger. Hey, John, where are you? John? Hey, Taya. Hey! Sorry, I was uh, just in back. Oh. This uh, working lunch? Oh, no, I'm taking my brother on a tour of all the hot spots in Landry. Brother? Yeah. Oh, uh, Jeff, this is Tomas. Tomas. Pleasure. Jeff. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, take any table. Okay. I'll be right over. Hey. <clears throat> He's single? He's cute, right? You have to ask. <laughs> I'm afraid he's uh, got his eye on someone else. I love Danny. And I know she's not mine, so I can't stop you from ruining her life. But I tell you this much, you are going to leave Star alone. She has been through enough, Todd. And if James makes her happy, then... Oh, James. You really want her with that... That guy James Grand Theft Ford? Okay, the incident with the car was all his father. His father is dead, thank God. She's been through enough. James makes her happy, and you're going to leave them alone. Says who? Says me. Oh, I'm shaking. Well, you should be, Todd, because you know what? I got some serious backup. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Sean? No, but maybe I should give him a call and let him know that you've been misbehaving. Whatever you want. And then there is always Tomas. Yeah, I know him. I know he'd love to have a piece of you. So, two roti burgers. Oh, you got to order the fries. All right, the herb focat, two fries. Yes! <laughs> got it. Mm. It may take a minute. It's just me and John on the cook today, so. Well, I, I thought that Gigi worked on Wednesday. Well, she does. She did, but uh, she's kind of moved on. Good for her. Gigi has a son and she goes to school, so she probably needed time to study, right? You'd have to ask her. Why is it that Americans insist on putting ice in everything? Last I checked, you were still American. But don't worry, once you get back to Paris, they won't put any ice in your precious water. Paris? Uh-huh. Once you go back home. I'm not going anywhere. Not until you've come to your senses and left your husband. My husband is fine, thank you very much. Oh, so he got the lobotomy, that's good. He's dangerous, Parito. He's complicated, as am I, as are you. And your daughter? She's fine, she's home. Her father and I, um, well, let's just say we had a meeting of the minds and he's agreed to um, work on his attitude. The girl I grew up with would never settle for that. Well, I've changed and I'm happy now. And I don't need you running interference with my husband. You want to live with a raving maniac? That's up to you. That's fine. Look, I just don't need you to stay to babysit me, all right? Oh, so now you're throwing me out? I'm not throwing you out. I haven't even met Daniela. Oh, don't even pretend that that's a reason you're staying. You're staying because of Blair Kramer. Not worried about Tomas. You left town. Here, I thought you ran a newspaper, Todd. Looks like he's sticking around. Why? Oh. Is he sniffing around you? Why would you say that? I know you. Yeah, and I know you. The reason he's sticking around is because he doesn't approve of the sister's husband. Well, he's the weirdo. How about that picture he painted of you? I thought it was lovely. <laughs> of course he would. You know what? I'm going to solve this problem once and for all. What are you calling? I'm calling the State Department. You're not going to call yes, the State Department? Yes, hello, State Department? Todd, I'd just like to report so many names. Just, yep. I had you there, didn't no, I? No, you didn't know what. 